Enchanté. video this week. Um, as you can see, I've done a lot of painting. I sort of got this up. It wound up being too tall for this room, so I had to uh, just put the lower half up. So it's still a little, I don't love standing up there, but there you go. Anyway, it's a total mishmash, and uh, you'll see the fiasco I got into with the steamer. <laughs> anyway, here we go. Beautiful evening, so I thought I'd come outside and take advantage. <laughs> Play with Chloe. It's still so warm here, and it's like the 20, 20 something of October. It's so crazy. It's like 70 degrees. Beautiful, sunny. Oh, my time here is moving so fast. I really don't want it to end. I don't want it to end. But alas, it's going to be moments before I'm having to head back. So I guess I better just breathe this in now while I can. peaceful here. Some little guys growing back, hopefully. Poor little things. It's going to be interesting to see what they do. So much dead, dead stuff on them. That's what they had to cut off. Anyhow, all right, well, I just had to uh, take a little wander. food videos. So I thought I would just uh, show you what I'm making for dinner. So I thought I would make a risotto with uh, shiitake mushrooms and some onions. And I'm just heating up the pan right now with a mixture of olive oil and uh, duck grease. And it just, uh, the duck grease adds just this really great flavor. Um, I made an omelet with it um, a few days ago and it was amazing. So uh, I don't have 
anything to hold my camera up while I chop the mushrooms, so I'm gonna turn it off and I'll turn it back on when I'm cooking. Okay. Okay, so I'm back. I've chopped the mushrooms. Now I'm stopping. Everything. It's a little bit hot, I think. I'm still getting used to this electric. I have to say, I'm not loving the electric. I kind of wish. I wish now that I had bought the gas. Um, the reason I didn't was because this is actually the gas connection and it kind of connects <laughs> through a tube and it kind of goes all the way outside. And the gas is actually butane or propane, I'm not sure which one. And the tanks sit outside. So that's how you run the stove because there is no town gas here. So I thought I didn't want to be bothered with that and I was worried that if I wasn't going to be here for long periods of time that maybe it would be kind of dangerous. But I'm now regretting that decision because the electric takes kind of a long time to heat up and um, I find it harder to control the temperature. It's either too hot or too, too um, cool. So, anyway, I digress. So, I'm throwing in the risotto. I don't know how much, probably, I, I hope it's hot. I'm not measuring. So, there we go. Throwing that in. And now, it's a long, hard process. So, I've got this uh, bouillon, but it's such a little guy that I think I'm going to have to supplement with water. And technically, I should have this heated up in a saucepan, but I never do. And it turns out just fine. Of course, I can't undo this with holding the camera at the same time. Okay. All right, so a little bit at a time. minutes of stirring so I'll turn it back on when um, it's almost ready. I've decided at the last minute that I might just throw in some of this amazing chorizo. I bought it at the uh, local butcher and uh, they seem to cure it themselves because they have a whole bunch of them hanging there in a, in a case. Um, so I'm gonna chop that up and throw that in there. I don't know mushroom Chorizo risotto, new recipe. <laughs> Abby's chorizo risotto. Say that five times fast. Okay, until later. Okay, I've de-skinned and chopped up the, the chorizo. So it's quite hard. It's actually pretty hard to chop up. So, but I'm hoping that throwing it into the risotto now will maybe Soften it up a little. Uh -huh. So there we go. Move my finger out of the camera. That's a good. All right. So more stirring, more stirring. Let's see. Looks like it's gonna be pretty good. All right. Give it a few more minutes. Okay. Look at fancy me. I have a little cooking show going on now. Okay. I got the tripod and a little light. And I have to say, it's really nice having light here. You can kind of see what I'm doing. So it's uh, slowly getting 
The rice is getting thicker and softer and it's a little bit pink, the juice, because of the chorizo. So it's looking pretty good. Kind of deciding whether to put in just a titch more water. I haven't put in a lot, honestly. As it comes together, this is kind of the fun part. So, um, up until this point, I have not added any salt or peppers, so I'm gonna add a little salt. Not too much, because I think the chorizo is quite salty, as is the stock. A little pepper. And Tomas gave me a little stock of um, basil, which promptly drew, dried out, so I've chopped that up and I'm gonna throw it in here too. I wish it was fresh, it would be much better if it was fresh, but whatever. Work with what you got. See, it almost looks like, I think the way I tell is that it looks like I've added cheese and I haven't. It's kind of got this like stringy quality to it as though you would added the cheese, but I haven't yet. So, but I'm going to now. So now I throw in, this is just basic grated Parmesan. Um, I actually throw in quite a bit. Maybe a quarter of a cup, something like that. And really, I should take it off the uh, take it off the heat here. And get, get take it off the heat. Well, I'll take it out of the camera. So, anyway, um, voila. There is dinner. Chorizo shiitake risotto. I wonder if anybody's ever made that before, if I just made that up. <laughs> Maybe the first. All right, there's dinner, everybody. Talk to you later. Okay, I just have to show you the final. The final, final. So I put it in these little bowls. I found these little bowls at the Intermarché, the grocery store. And they have little uh, lion's heads on them, just like my well. <laughs> so of course I had to buy the rest of them that the entire store had. And then I also just have to show you Chloe. Chloe's worn herself out and she got a little prickle in her toenail today. And so she's not happy. Anyway, Chloe says goodnight. Night night. Somebody got a little prickle in her toe last night from all of her ball chasing, and now she's got a bit of a limp. I think I managed to get it out, but uh -uh. she's still limping. I was hoping she might prove it to you, but no. All right, going in to get her breakfast. Oh, look at that little limp, poor thing. There are prickles on the ground, and she keeps running into prickles. <laughs> All right, it's Chloe breakfast time right now. <laughs> Some people might wonder what I feed Chloe while I'm in France. Um, I was lucky enough to find a pet store that actually had the same brand of food that she eats at home, which is Taste of the Wild. Um, the other thing I do though, um, Chloe is the kind of dog where she can have a continuous bowl. So I always have a continuous bowl of the kibble for her. But um, I also make her um, turkey. <laughs> I know it sounds kind of like, I never thought I'd be one of those with the princess dog and it's not that. I just discovered that it was often cheaper than buying Taste of the Wild was just to make my own food for her. So at home I just buy ground up turkey and um, I throw in some frozen vegetables, peas and carrots. And then I saute it all in a little bit of olive oil and some water, and she loves it. So I just give it to her in the mornings. Um, but in France, what I discovered <laughs> was they don't do ground turkey here. So I have to buy turkey breasts, and then I just chop them up. And then I just do the same sort of thing here. 
So yeah, she loves it. And this is really her morning, her morning breakfast. So here we go. And voila. She, um, she waits every morning <laughs> with much anticipation. <laughs> anyway, that's what I feed a dog in France. There you go. Okay, so I have had many commenters tell me that they are slightly horrified by the fact that I buy these old beds and that there's the possibility that they're infested with bed bugs or lice or whatever. I suppose it applies to the chair as well. So a lot of them suggested I get a steamer. So voila, I have a steamer. So now I'm going to try and put it together and then I'm going to try and steam this bed. I've set the, this room, which I eventually hope will be the studio for my art, but for now, it's going to be the bedroom for my mother-in-law who arrives today. And uh, I've done that because this is one of the rooms that has a little bathroom and uh, that seemed kind of necessary. So, wish me luck. Okay, I think I got it all set up. I've got a big green light. So, <laughs> here goes nothing. Let's see if I put this down here. Hopefully you'll be able to see me in action. If I can do this without burning myself. All right. Okay, I expected noise.
me. Well, I can't tell if it's, it actually doesn't feel very wet. I feel like it's gonna need to be vacuumed, maybe. Still, no, that. Does that mean it's still wet there? Or have I ruined the nap? I don't know, is that possible? I hope not. I hope not. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like I'm gonna need some sort of velvet brush. But it does seem a lot cleaner, I have to say. So when it dries, it's going to be more this color. Huh? Well, what do you know? Okay. That's it for that. I have to take off the entire mattress now. Of course, I just made the bed. But I think I have to take off the mattress in order to do the rest of the bed. Okay, I had a few terrifying moments thinking that I had completely ruined the velvet. Um, and it was looking like this. <laughs> but then I discovered that if I just used the steamer and went in the direction of the nap, that it took care of the problem. So it's looking a little bit, I mean, right here, it's looking a little bit pain because um, I guess it's pretty old. So lesson to be learned here is only go with the nap when you're steaming. Um, otherwise you're going to pull up the old uh, velvet. So anyway, um, it's not terrible, terrible, but I did damage it to a certain degree, which is sad. But anyway, this is how you learn. So luckily I didn't do the headboard yet, so now I know, um, and I'll have to be super careful because obviously this is quite old velvet and um, it's pretty delicate. Okie dokie, I'll give you, um, at the end, I'll give you um, pictures of before and after, okay. Okay, final outcome is, I'm gonna give it a 70 out of 100. Um, so I managed to calm down the nap a little bit. I vacuumed and then I put, I just wiped a damp cloth over it. Um, so it's a lot better than, honestly, I thought I'd ruined the whole thing, but <clears throat> it's not all completely ruined. Um, and it may still dry out a little bit, so I don't know. Um, it didn't exactly fully eradicate the spot for the, you know, I'm sure it's just filled with hair oils or whatever. Um, so, but you know, this is one that will eventually get reupholstered. I mean, there's, there's little holes everywhere. So this is, uh, this is definitely going to need some TLC at some point, but for now, at least we know it's clean and, um, that's really, that's really the goal right now. So we're just gonna be cleaning. The chair is, the chair is gonna be next. <laughs> oi, 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 it never ends. <laughs> so this is Selena. I'm ready for my close up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Closer. And please explain who I am. Okay, you are my bell mare. Which who, means? Otherwise known as my mother-in-law. <laughs> She's very, but she's very pleased. Translation. She's very pleased that she's called a bell mare, which means beautiful mother. And um, yeah, so Hello. I have her. I've, I've put her to work. She's been here <laughs> less than twelve hours, and um, yeah, she's cleaning chandeliers. So <laughs> um, not to mention jet lag. 
with jet lag. Yeah. So um, we have her sitting in a seated position, and uh, yeah, you don't. Uh, There's you don't... no other position to sit in than a seated <laughs> position. <laughs> Okay, Ms. Thank God this is not in French. <laughs> All right, well, I will uh, leave you to it. Thank you. You're most kind. Somehow, I am going to have to put this thing together. <laughs> I'm feeling somewhat intimidated. So, <laughs> we'll put it on time lapse. I'm guessing it's going to take me hours. So, we'll condense that into seconds. Wish me luck. I just thought you might want to uh, see your handiwork in, in situ. Oh my God, <laughs> I did that. <laughs> no, no, I told you like we're not getting up on ladders, okay? Please. <laughs> oh, look. Yeah, there you go. That beautifully gleaming chandelier. Yay. So you'd think that removing a toilet seat would be an easy job, but no. Lots of rust. Poor Tomas, look what I make him do. <laughs> oh, I am so sorry. <laughs> I feel very bad. Oh, to have to have your face so close to the toilet bowl. There's only certain, certain times in your life where you should be doing that. And it usually involves a lot of drinking. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, we're at the Brocant. And uh, we found a canoe. Because <laughs> every chateau needs a canoe, right? <laughs> please, please. I think you need an exercise bike, really. Ooh. Okay, Peloton, I think you've got. Uh, I think we've got some competition going on. <laughs> Ooh, look at this. So this is, oh my God, he has so many chandeliers. Look at all the chandeliers. <gasps> Chandelier Central. Let me open Monday to Friday. Chandelier Central, look at this oh one. <gasps> I think I looked at this one before, and I think it's about a thousand euros. But, oh, really? it's so pretty. Mm -hmm. That's similar to the one that I oh, made. Bonjour, ça va? Allez bien? Oui. Oui, oui, oui. Un peu de lumière. Voilà. Ah, wow. Bien, merci. Look at that. I know. That one's amazing too, right? Oh, God. <laughs> I'll clean it. I'll clean it. <laughs> Yeah. So, yeah, I could get a couple of these smaller ones mm -hmm. for, I think I have a couple of hallway ones that I need to do. J'avais rentré une belle, belle commode style Louis XV, pas très ancienne, uh, oui. mais je l'ai vendue avant hier. Ok. Je sais oh. pas, qu'est-ce que vous cherchez de beau Je ne sais pas. Tout, tout, tout yeah. oui, exactement. <laughs> C'est une humeur. <laughs> Les chambres toujours Oui. Ouais, les je les pense que ça va bientôt. Oui. Ouais. Ok, oui. Mais maintenant, juste euh, 4 lits, peu, peu, ouais. je pense. C'est tout. Look at that candle holder. Oh wow. Isn't yeah. that amazing mm -hmm. Juste en faire forger, ouais. Oui. Il est beau celui-là. <laughs> oh my god, Abigail, it's fabulous. <laughs> Vous cherchez du strand fer J'en ai un qui est pas mal. Je vais vous faire voir là-bas. Oui. Peut-être. Can, can I take it back to Canada <laughs> Yeah, in your, uh, your carry-on. <laughs> in your carry-on. I love all these clocks.
Yeah. Cool. Cool. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Look at these sconces. Oh, oh my god. I think those are different sconces. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, these are just these are just bowls, oh, right. I think. Oh my god, these are amazing. They would look amazing. And there's two of them. <laughs> there are two of them. <laughs> they need four. Oh you god. need four. Yeah, they're, they're a slightly different shape. Oh, well, maybe the one is just bent a little. So they're, the, they're definitely the they're definitely twins. Well, we might have to find out how much those are. Tomas is going to kill me if I make him do it all over again. Tomas. Why? Well, because it's like, you know, he has to fix the wall and do plaster and make the bag. This would be good for um, Thanksgiving, I think. No, it is just the lid. I think it's just the lid. That's yeah. the Oui. Celui-là est réveillé chez vous, monsieur. Oui, oui, exactement. Et le prix? Toujours pareil. Très cher. Oui, je sais. Non, non. 1500. 1500. Ouais, ouais. Mm. Okay. Oui, mais il est beau. Il est tout, tout re-électrifié, neuf. Oui. Tout, euh, on a tout refait. Hein. Oui. Là, les bronzes ont été nettoyés. Ça ne bouge plus. Ah, oui, oui. Ça reste comme Et ça. Il marche. Ouais, tout. Ah, ok. Vous pouvez me le régler moi plusieurs fois. Hein. Oui. Et le taille Qu'est-ce que c'est le, le taille La dimension Oui, la dimension. Of course, that's what it is. The what? Dimensions. What did you ask him for? The size. Alors. Et après, il faut mettre un peu de chaîne pour aller jusqu'au plafond. Hein. Si vous avez des hauts plafonds, quand même. Hein. Oui. Alors là, il nous fait un mètre. OK. Et le, le di diamètre di di 70. 70. 70. Okay. Ouais, ouais. Okay, bon. Can you remember that? 70 yeah. by a meter. 70 by a meter? Mm -hmm. yeah. 70 yeah. long by a meter wide? No, the other way. Après, right. si, si, si vous avez plus de plafond, il faut mettre un peu de chaîne. Et ensuite, vous avez enlevé, enveloppé la chaîne avec un tissu. C'est oh, oui. joli. Oh, okay. 70 centimeters? Yes. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, it's the same one that I saw before and that I've been contemplating. Contemplating. This one's amazing too. So you see it really. Oh, it's got those same insert things. Beaucoup moins ancien, hein? Ça c'est beaucoup plus ancien. Oh, okay. Voilà. Oui. Mais sûr, c'est pareil, il faut le voir euh, descendu un peu, il est tout en bronze, très lourd. Il y a une très belle chaîne, un beau plafonnier. Oui. Ok. Hmm. All right. Ça, il faut les voir sur place. Il faut les amener, les présenter. Oui. Et vous voyez ce que ça donne. Oui. Voilà, sur place. Some contenders. I tell you what I need in my room: a mirror. <laughs> oh, I have I have mirrors. Do you? Mm, quite a few. But if you see one, you. Vous êtes contente de votre table? Oui. Oui, c'est bien. Hein? Okay. Oui. Okay, let's uh, go see. Ça aussi, c'est très joli. J'ai rentré ça hier. Très grande toile. Oh wow. Alors il faut retailler la toile, faire encadrer. Mais c'est très joli ça. Hein. Huh. Voilà le lustre en fer. Oh, ok. Alors là, il faut mettre des globes. Oui. Ça, c'est très joli ça. Hein. Ah oui. Hmm. Hmm. Wow. Ok. Hmm.
Bonjour, bonjour. <rire> ça va Ça va. Oui. Les clés de leur galerie. Euh, là. Très mignon. Oui. Blue dressing table. J'aime ça. Hein? Moi, j'aime ça. <rire> ok. It's been Belmer approved. <laughs> Just be down there. Oui. Oui. Américain aussi. Canadian. Canadian. Ça c'est beau pour la fond. Oui. Ça c'est une porte. Il y a les portes ici. Oui, oui. Ça c'est très beau uh, aussi. Indonésie. Oui, Indonésie. Oui. Et ça aussi, ça je vais le restaurer. Ça c'est très beau aussi, oui. très belle, très pendu là. 17 e wow. Très belle. Ça va avec ça, avec la, le meuble derrière. Ah oui. Ah oh, ouais. Ah oui, voilà. Très très belle pendule. Wow. Ah, la suspension, ouais, ça c'est bien pour mettre au-dessus des... Dans les cuisines ou salle à manger, ça. Ah oui. Très beau. C'est trop, trop bon pour mon salle à manger. Ouais. <rire> oh, on peut le raccourcir, hein. Oui. Wow. Oh. Very cute. Ok, let's go see the gallery. Mm -hmm. It's a cute little table here. It's like a little, whoa, it's a little tiny desk. Oh, isn't that nice? Yeah. Ooh. But look, it sort of oui. disappears into itself. Petit secrétaire et euh, petite commode et secrétaire. Oui. Ouais. Ah, ouais. C'est pas très ancien, hein? Ah oui. Oh. Oh. Okay. Ça, c'est condamné, yeah. condamné. Okay, well, I think I might have to get that. That's that's a good price. And I don't know, what about the little table and the lamp? <laughs> I like the lamp. It's kind of cute. I like the table too. But I mean, it would just be good for a bedroom somewhere. Well, ça fait un peu chinois un peu. Oh non, mais bon, un petit, clo un petit cloisonné, euh, des jolies fleurs. Oui. C'est bien. Entre les deux. Oui. Voilà. Je vous lis un petit, mm. petit tabac jour en soi. Mm. Et la table La petite table, un petit peu plus ancienne, un petit guéridon. Ah. Ah, et des jolis pieds. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it work. Mm -hmm. This is the kind of thing we just need a lot of. Little bits and tables. things, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. But this is. Uh... Yeah, I think that, and that, and that other little table. Uh, la lampe 50 and the guéridon 50. Tout à 50 euros. Okay. Uh, <laughs> very good at finding everything that's $50, I guess. $50. Euros. <laughs> Là, j'ai un petit guéridon aussi, Napoléon III. Ça, c'est oh, un peu oui. plus, uh, un peu oh, plus riche, un peu plus ancien. Ah, oui. That's kind of cool. It's very tall. Ooh. Marbre. Marbre. Marbre, un peu de laiton, oui. un peu de bronze. Après, j'ai 50. Non, non. Oh, come on. C'est là, elles sont jolies aussi. À la cajou. Ah oui. Là, il y, y a les deux. Ah oui. Bon. Ouais. Ça, ça fait très british. Ah oui. Très anglais. <rire> Un joli photo. Ah. Ok. Je 
these two or more. Là, il y a un petit meuble aussi qui est mignon, là. Oh, celui -là. that's interesting. Ça, pareil, 50. 50? Yeah, yeah good, good. <laughs> <laughs> that would be good for another bedside table, I think. Et notre petit guéridon ici, qui est mignon aussi. Oh, oui. Petit mignon. From the side couches and things, I guess. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh, jolie cannelure. Mm -hmm. Oui. Ça, c'est sympa aussi. Mm. Yeah. I love the, uh, this case. Uh... La boîte. Well, um, yeah. La boîte à riz. Chinoise. Right. It's really pretty. That would make a cool bedside table, too. Mm -hmm. Mm. Et le prix pour ça? Ah, ça, c'est un peu plus cher. Ça vaut 500. 500. Very ça vaut un peu plus oui. cher, c'est très joli, très belle pièce. Oui, très belle. En bon état. Oh, oui. Tout, tout, tout clouté, très joli, très très belle. Okay. Et le prix de la table ici, le marbre euh, Celui-là, il en faut 150. 150. Ouais. Ok. Ok. Well, euh, je pense le, le petit secrétaire, ouais. et le petit table et le petit la lampe. lampe. Ouais. Oui. Et puis et le, le petit meuble là-bas. Euh, le petit euh, meuble. Celui-là là. Oui. Et le autre meuble là-bas. Euh, ah là-bas. Oui. Oui. Ah. Et ça. Bon, so that's. Just how easy it is. Three hundred fifty. I'm up to four fifty already. That's just... très mignon aussi. Hein? Oh, oui. Oh, that is also useful. Avec un joli bois. Oui. Beaucoup de rangement. Oh, that would solve your problem. You'd have place to put all your things. Pardon? If I got that, just for us. Ah. Le, euh, le prix. Ça, ça vaut 150. 150. Ouais, un petit peu plus cher. Have you ever asked them if any of this stuff came from? from the <laughs> no, I don't think so. I've seen pictures. Oh, have you? They have. Yeah. Oh, when it was um, furnished. Yeah. Oh. Vous le prenez aujourd'hui? Um. Je pense à euh, une aventure. Ouais. Je pas euh, le grand taille. <rire> oui, mais ça va, ça va rentrer, je pense. Oui, oui. Ça, c'est tr très lourd, ça. Oui. Ça, très lourd. OK. Je vais prendre un peu de ça maintenant. Je ne sais pas si je peux. Nous devons venir. Il ne peut pas le délivrer. Il peut, possiblement, mais on va voir. Vous pouvez le euh, libérer euh, Oui. <rire> oui, oui. oui. Um, Mais pas aujourd'hui. Ok. Euh, pas demain. Euh, Et c'est lundi. Lundi. C'est un vacances lundi. Oui. <rire> non, non, vacances. Non, je travaille. Moi, je peux vous livrer dimanche matin si vous voulez. Ah, oh, ok. Ça vous va? Samedi matin. Mm -hmm. Oui, oui, oui. Oui, c'est bon. Fin de matinée, 11h. Oui. So now. We are in, not really a brocante, I don't even know what you call this store. It's like a mixture of new stuff, kitchen stuff, lots of pans. I might even find lids for my pans. It's exciting. Um, but then they also have, <clears throat> well, interesting art, I guess, and furniture. And it's just a Quirky mix mixture of weird stuff. So, um, yeah, let's see what we can find. So far, I have a scraper. The windows because I paint all over them. <laughs> I have a new bottle opener because they're 
just in case. A pair of scissors, since I can never seem to find the scissors. And a baking dish, because I only have one baking dish and it's really not very big. So that's what I'm getting so far. We'll see if I can find any furniture. Okay, I think I might be looking out. I've got a couple of pieces. You know, they're not like beautiful antiques, but 15 euros, can't go wrong. It's kind of, kind of cool. Oh, really? It's, it's definitely old. So I'm definitely gonna get that. And this one is only 10 euros. Uh oh, I just dropped something. Oh dear. Side of clock. It's kind of cool. Oops, there's another one. I think I won't get that one. I mean, I guess I could. It's mm. very old, but it doesn't look like it closes. It's a whole 20 euros. Forget it. Okay, we've got a couple more over here. This one's so bleached out that I can't even read the price. Oh, wow, that's squeaky. Okay, another one. I'm not sure I'd love this one, but I suppose it would do. But they've obviously been here for so long that you can't even see the price. So there you go. 